here just outside of the bridal gown shop that I just found my dress. I am so excited. My mom and sister are here with me, but they didn't want to be in the film, <laughs> which is totally okay. <laughs> but anyways, I am so stoked. And like I said before, I didn't want to show the gown on the vlog because I don't want Michael to see it, but it is beautiful. So you'll just have to wait till the big day. Hey, so we are here in the catering office of the Joseph Smith Memorial Building and I'm meeting with my coordinator Chris now so I can't wait for you to meet her. She is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Hello hey, Jessica, how are, are you? you ready to do this? I am. Oh well, good. <laughs> so you were going to get some colors. Let's yes. see what you've chosen. Okay, so I know we kind of talked about them but I found them on this little swatchy this thing. This is a great too. idea. Yeah. When you told me before that you were interested in the mint, mm -hmm. um, I chose one of the mint beautiful overlays oh, that I we have. It. I don't know. Let's see yeah. how close we came. Oh, look at, oh that. look at us. That's like perfect. We're right. Oh, we're, we're absolutely in the tones. That is perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. You oh, know, we would love amazing. to match every bride's colors perfectly. Yeah. But there are a lot of colors out there. So if <laughs> yeah. we can get in the tones, we are there. Great. That's so perfect. I'm excited. Good. That's beautiful. I think that will be gorgeous on the tables. And then your cloth will come down to the floor. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put this overlay or topper on the top. It will come down because it's a square topper. Mm -hmm. On a round table, it'll come down to four points. Beautiful. I think it'll be gorgeous. I love that color. Nice. This becomes kind of a neutral palette. Tell me what you're thinking accent colors. Yeah, so definitely orange. Orange is my favorite okay. color. Okay. You know what? This will just refresh everyone in January to see these kind of colors. Okay. It's just a happy color yeah. <laughs> in a gray month. It's yeah. a wonderful <laughs> color. So you're thinking maybe your oranges, tangerines into mm -hmm. your centerpieces. Definitely. And they're bringing in some tones of the mints, mm -hmm. different, maybe some eucalyptus and some Ooh, of the yeah. other greens. For Colleen sure. would know oh, yes. the best. But for a reception, we usually use a cocktail napkin. Perfect. Yeah. And so tell me colors that maybe look good to you. White, I think that would still be beautiful. Uh -huh. Absolutely. What would you think about an orange napkin? Do you think that would be kind of funny? Or since I already have orange on the table? No, I think I think orange would be fabulous. I just wonder if this is too strong. Yeah. I wonder if we could get something a little more muted. Mm -hmm. I think that would be beautiful. I guess what I could do is correlate with Colleen, see what colors she's using in the flowers. Okay. And then maybe see um, a color. I think it's fun to have a couple of colors. I think it adds to the happy look that you're achieving here. Another thing that we can do that would be so pretty is that we could spotlight each table. Oh wow. We have spotlights, pin spots that could come down and we could illuminate just the center of each table. All the lights are on dimmers, rheostats wow. on uh -huh. dimmers, so we could pull the lighting down and we could spotlight every table which That's just neat. gives a really romantic look. And yet your colors, and, and so what would be your major focal point would be maybe your centerpiece. And then we could put like votives, something like this. I mean, candlelight oh, is so romantic. So if you wanted to do something with maybe some votives, oh, that would be beautiful. you know, around the perimeter yeah. of your centerpiece. Colleen has lots of ideas of things that you can add, but though that's just one idea. Mm -hmm. I also put out just a couple of ideas for no other reason than I wanted you to see silver with it. I love that. Do you like the silver? I really like More than like a gold? Yes. I think I do too. I'm such a silver fan. And yeah. I didn't even think about using it with these, any of my colors. I mean, I just it didn't even dawn on me, but that's beautiful. What? <laughs> Tell me about the marshmallows. So. <laughs> So I saw this, and I should pull it up for you, but I'll tell you about it, because um, I can't remember exactly where it's at. It's in some Pinterest board somewhere. Okay. And I saw this really neat marshmallow, like they strung marshmallows on like all, it almost looked like just clear like fishing wire or something. And okay. it was all coming down from the, the ceiling, just over this one table. Individual strands? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so it was so much fun. Um, 
And I was thinking that would be neat if we did the hot chocolate bar to have something like that near. That would be darling. That. Do you like think a that would backdrop? Be cool? Yes. Behind exactly. it. Perfect. Would that be so fun? Yes. Oh my gosh. I mean, it would be good. darling. I think that, that would be neat. Um, and you know what else we have here? We have a oh, s'mores yeah. bar. Where you roast your marshmallows and oh, then put the chocolate geez. and the graham crackers on it. So you know we've got lots of things that we can do with marshmallows. Colleen was telling me too that we can, yeah, even play more around with marshmallows, which would be that would be really maybe we fun. Can incorporate and we could carry things. that theme. Yeah, we could carry that theme. That'd be pretty. And she was trying to help me figure out what maybe my theme would be because mm -hmm. I, I had no idea. She's like, "What's your theme?" And I was like, "I don't know. I don't, you know, I just like mint and orange." Uh huh. <laughs> Um, but she, she said a phrase that really hit me okay. and she said, okay, so you, cause I still want to incorporate winter, but I like the pop of more color. Right. And so she said, okay, so maybe like winter with like a hope of spring coming. Oh, I love that. I love that too. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Sorry. This is taking me a You're second. You're fine. No, warm up. Let's talk chairs. On. Okay. Good. Let's talk chairs. These okay. are the Shivari chairs. Wonderful. I love these. I do too. What do you see? Oh, we've got the mahogany, uh -huh. or we've got the black. I kind of like the mahogany. One. The mahogany. Uh -huh. I think it would be perfect. And we could also do a sash on it. Oh, if you want that. a sash, let me get. Oh, great. The sash. Let me just take these off. Tell me of anything. That's beautiful. I love that orange. Do you like that orange? <laughs> I do. I'm kind of seeing that more than. We're Love close this. on this. Oh yeah, definitely. We're close on that one, don't you think? Uh-huh. Definitely. What one do you want to try first? Um, orange. Orange, orange. yeah. <laughs> do something like this. Now this is an organza sash, and because it is, it's going to make a really fun bow. Oh, neat. So what does that mean, organza? It's like just more the fabric. Oh, okay. And it's a see-through. I love and it, that. It tends to be a little stiffer than like a satin. Okay. You know. Mm -hmm. This may not be my best bow job here. <laughs> Let's see what we oh, that is so cute! I love that. I love that so much. I think that's really cute. Yeah, I do too. And I like that it's not too like too much. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's just clean and simple but beautiful your mint green we've got your pretty orange mm -hmm. and then colleen up in floral can pull these two together in something magnificent on your wow. table and i think that it pulls awesome. the whole thing together okay. once you add the florals that would be beautiful i do too i can just imagine i, I like, do wow. too i think it's <laughs> wonderful i'm i'm not 100 percent certain on even how many invitations are sending out yet but i okay. will know at the beginning of december okay so. And what we ought to do is once you get that list, once you get those numbers, let me help you and we'll just kind of, I've got some little formulas that we use and I can also tell you what I see here okay. as far as attendance. So I can take kind of the basic formulas okay. and then let's just custom tailor those numbers. You and I could be millionaires if we could estimate how many people will come <laughs> to a wedding reception. <laughs> I would say for a wedding reception of 300 to 400, mm -hmm. eight round tables of 10. For a come and go oh. reception over a two hour period, mm -hmm. I would do eight round tables of 10. But okay. now we need to factor in your family okay. and his family. Right. Have you got people that are going to come yeah. and stay and all stay. night? Yeah. We call it camping out. Yeah. Yeah. And if you. they're going to come and if they're going to camp out all night, they're going to stay. Then, if that's the case, I would maybe add a couple of more tables. Okay. Another option that we have here, because your room's so large and it's going to accommodate your crowd so well, is we could do perimeter seating. And we could do some seating around the perimeter where it's applicable. Another thing that I love is to use a cabaret table. Oh. Do you know what cabarets are? Yes. Are they the taller ones? The taller so table. Tall. I'll just show you. I love the idea of the cabaret table. First of all, for yes. your wedding cake. Oh, definitely. I think that's definitely really fun. That's that's perfect. And it's really fun also to do a cabaret table because you've got those great windows uh -huh. in that room that look out to Temple Square. Yes. I would maybe put one cabaret table in front of each one of those yes. windows, which is a taller table. We find that. Um, 
the young adults okay. your age uh -huh. that they love standing around a table, a high table, oh, where they don't yeah. have to sit down uh -huh. and just chatting and moving from table to table. Yeah. So this would be really fun for your friends. We could even do something fun like this oh, on the table. With ribbons. That's that's neat. that's ribbons, and you probably can't see it, but there's little tiny flowers yeah. at the junction. Oh, we can right. go more formal so, yeah. and fussy <laughs> with something like that. Okay. So anyway, we wow. can do anything. That looks like it. Oh, I can yeah. even get these beautiful overlays in different colors wow. to come in, and because your cake table is going to be in every picture. I mean, the pictures you choose for your wedding album uh -huh. will probably always have a picture of you and the wedding cake. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. And so, I never thought about that. Yeah. yeah. So you see, you want to you want to do something to your cake table. You want to pump it up a little bit, make it special, mm -hmm. and add a little bit to it. Mm -hmm. Here's a really yeah. fun idea: using mint green, yeah, but one it. of my darling brides, who I enjoyed working with so much, used, and she even has a mint. Yes. green wedding cake. I love that so much. And see if we were to put a cabaret table in front of all these windows mm -hmm. and then they're looking out to the most beautiful view on earth, yeah. I just think it'd be fabulous. That would be perfect. And then the long claws to the floor give the illusion when you walk in the room that all the tables are floating. Ooh. I think it's a great look yeah, to, have the, to have the claws to the floor. And then we'll have them all pin spotted. It'll just be a really magical look. That sounds like a dream. It oh, is. I love it. If we could even do something with marshmallows. I, that would be cute. Wouldn't that be oh, cute? Yeah. We need to go online and see what we can get in marshmallow candies and other things that we could add. Or even put a little something on each table or. I'm so glad that you can help me with this whole process. That's like, what I'm here know. for. Can you tell <laughs> this is what I love? I know. Oh my goodness, that makes me so it's excited. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> the other thing that's kind of fun here is these window sills are fabulous. They're about this deep, maybe 24 inches deep, 20 to 24. And you can do some fabulous things in those window sills. Even a little yeah. something with votive candles oh, pretty. in the window sills. Uh -huh. And we can light candles in this building. Really we have got the base. Woo! We've got the base of awesome. what we're doing, don't we? Oh, yeah. Okay.